Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Lexar. It's a multi-card reader. It's basically a two-in-one card reader which has a USB 3.1 connection. The recommended retail price for this is 18 UK pounds. We do have links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the box. As you can see, it says Lexar. You can see the device there. It's basically a piece of card or a piece of plastic over it. Uh, it's got, it says multi-card, two-in-one, USB 3.1 reader. And it says down here, USB 3.1 supports SD and micro SD. And obviously, other variants of SD, so SDXC and all those. So, on the back, I'll just give you a closer look. Doesn't say a huge amount on there, it just shows your micro SD, SD, it shows the device and you plug it into obviously a PC or laptop. Don't see any mention of speeds on there, but on the website it does say read speeds up to 312 megabytes per second. Uh, so that gives you a rough idea and it will also be backwards compatible with all the other types of SD cards, which is SD, SDHC, you've got SDXC, you've got micro SD, micro SDHC, micro SDXC, and SD, micro SD, UHS1, and UHS2 cards. Uh, and it supports anything running Mac OS 10.8 and above, or Windows XP and above, which is Windows XP Vista 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. Uh, and it'll work on anything what's got a USB port which is USB 1.1 or above. Bear in mind, uh, obviously, if you're wanting the full speed, you are obviously going to need uh, to be using it on a USB 3.1 port. And it does mention it comes with a two-year warranty on the back as well. Otherwise, it doesn't give us too much information on there. Uh, UHS-1 cards will go up to 170 megabytes per second. Again, that depends on the card you're using. Uh, you don't have to use Lexar cards in there. Any card will work. But this will basically work five times, potentially even ten times quicker than some card readers on the market. And I suggest if you are um, copying stuff onto a computer from an SD card you're using on a decent camera, you do use something like this, which is USB 3.1, um, because you're going to see the benefit of the transfer speeds. It's just going to copy everything a lot, lot faster, uh, so which is pretty good. It does say on the website USB 3.1 and 2 ports. On the back it does say USB 1.1. Uh, we've got operating temperatures and all different things like that, which we don't necessarily need to know. But the sizes, if you do, is 38.2 times 36.9 times 15.3, uh, and that's obviously millimetres. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. There's no manual, no instructions, no oomph about warranties or anything like that. You've basically got the card reader. That is it, and that's all you have. So just to give you a rough idea what it looks like, you, it says Lexar on there, you've got a little um, LED light which lights up uh, red when it's in usage. You've got your two ports on there for either SD or micro SD or the variants of it. And then obviously it says all their information on the back as well as the model number and a few different kite marks and stuff like that. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. The USB connection on the end is blue, which represents that's USB 3, which this device is actually USB 3.1. Uh, they don't actually have a different colour for it, but basically blue means it's going to be fast anyway. Faster than if uh, the end was black or usually white, but there are a few exceptions to the rule. But otherwise, we're going to test the speeds on this, and it's going to be pretty straightforward. But if you're not sure how it plugs into a PC, you get your laptop, for example, like this one. You get it, and you go into the USB port, that's it. And then you plug your cards in, and as you can see, the light has lit up there, and it is red. It's plug and play, you don't need any software, you don't need to download anything. 
just a way you go. But remember, when you're plugging it into your PC, to plug it into the blue port on your laptop or PC, if you have one, because that represents you've got USB free. Some laptops, the connections may not be colored, but check your manual and you'll see that some of the ports may be USB 2 and some are USB free. Obviously, USB free will work faster. Uh, don't get me wrong, it'll still work on the others, but if you want the higher speed, you want a USB free or at least 3.1 connection. So in conclusion, well one of the things I see quite often is people go out and buy really fast cameras which can do 20 shots a second and all this, that and the other 4K 60 frames per second and then they go out and buy a top end SD card which is 300 megabytes per second or whatever it may be to cope with it and then when they're transferring the, the data off the SD card onto the PC they end up using a card reader which is either built into the PC or laptop or an old cold card reader they've got in the drawer and they wonder why it takes a long time to transfer the data. Well a a lot of the time it's because the card reader they have actually got only transfers data at 20 megabytes per second or lower so it's not really taking advantage of the speed of the card where the advantage of this card reader it's able to do at least 300 megabytes per second the fastest card we've got is 300 megabytes per second and it's able to read and write at that speed no problem as long as you do plug it into a USB 3.1 Gen 1 or Gen 2 uh, socket on your PC or motherboard or whatever the devices you're connecting it up to. Speed wise, this is the best card reader I've come across, or at least best card reader what supports SD and micro SD cards. It's a shame it doesn't support other types of cards, but then again, this day and age, who uses compact flash or XD cards? Very few people. Um, I'd say what 99.9% .9 of people use some form of SD, and the the fact that it's able to cope with micro SDs, full size SDs and all the variants and run it as well high a speed as possible, it shows me that it's a really good product and I would highly recommend this if you are a professional or you're just wanting to transfer your data to your PC or laptop fast.